One of the reasons we had headed to Germany was to help Paul out dialing in his Evo drag car. Last year we came over and did an initial tune on Paul's Evo which couldn't have gone better with the car making an amazing 1138 wheel horsepower on 3 bar or 45 psi boost. We weren't really chasing any more power this time around but we did want to run the car up on the dyno and make sure everything was perfect before we headed to the King of Germany drag meeting. As it turned out it was lucky we did as we struck two problems. First of all we chased a frustrating triggering error which was causing a misfire at about 9000 rpm. This turned out to be a faulty cam angle sensor which isn't uncommon with these Mitsubishis. More frustrating though was the leaking head gasket which cut short our dyno session. Head gasket integrity is the Achilles heel of these high boost engines and the cylinder pressure literally lifts the head off the block. The cylinder pressure can then make its way into the water jacket, forcing coolant out past the radiator cap as you can see in this video. Once we got to Elkeschleben for the King of Germany, Paul finally got a chance to hit the track and see what his Evo was capable of. We had three days ahead of us, so the plan was to start out with a pretty conservative setup, running low boost and work from there. On his first run, Paul surprised everyone by busting out an 897 at 166 mile per hour, despite an average launch, and Paul still getting to grips with driving the car. This time also gave Paul the title of Europe's fastest Evo. Given the results, we decided to make no changes to the car for the next run. Paul needed some track time, and a full, clean run was going to see the car dip deeper into the eights with ease. On his second run, with very little time on the two-step launch control, Paul dropped the clutch with almost no boost, and the car bogged badly, running a 9.5. For Friday's third run, we made a few small changes to the launch control and sent Paul back out. The result was a better 1.4460 foot and everything was looking good until the car got to the top of first gear and hung up on the limiter. What we found later was that Paul hadn't turned on the air shifter and he couldn't change gear. For the rest of the run, Paul reverted to changing gear manually netting another 9.5 second pass. Although, with 1.4 seconds spent on the limiter at the top of first, this run really showed what could have been. Saturday morning unfortunately marked the end of Paul's weekend. While we were retalking the cylinder head in the pits, one of the head studs pulled out of the block due to a damaged thread. With no way of making a repair at the track, we had no option to but to sit back and watch. Unfortunately this is the nature of drag racing, while there are intense highs, all too often there are also frustrating lows. Paul has seen the potential though, and with the European record already in the bag, he's promised to return later in the season. <laughs>